I'm, okay, so you're saying your church, right? Yeah. Your church, right? Yeah. You're saying your church. Why you go with Powerhouse when 99% of your gifts are coming from the church? Why not build up mega church in their in their points in their family prestige? Why you didn't go with the church? As a matter of fact, why can't she just take the church badge down? That's what I'm saying. Why she didn't go with the church? Cause she don't fuck with the church like that either. Why the fuck do you think Carrie was over there when he first started hitting the live button? He was screaming, fuck the church and fuck, fuck pastor. You know why? Because she was in her house screaming, fuck the church and fuck pastor. He was speaking her true motherfucking feelings from the beginning. Yeah, because in order for him to say that, he wrote comfortable. He was too comfortable saying that. Yeah, she been with Powerhouse, though. She definitely been with Powerhouse. But why, I mean, why not leave Powerhouse? Yeah, why Powerhouse why not leave Powerhouse, Powerhouse and take the church badge? Right, because it ain't Powerhouse that's feeding you right now. Powerhouse ain't feeding you and ain't never too much fed you. And, and if you notice it, with Powerhouse, you don't see them that often in other people's room gifting either. They support their own. Yeah, they do. And they do They do like, they like do trades with PKs. So you just won't see them randomly just gifting, gifting, gifting. They don't do that. Right. They They move on a different on a different way with and i understand you know you saying that you want to be loyal to powerhouse because powerhouse you know you've been with power fuck that be good to the hand that feeds you the church is feeding you bitch so why not pick up that mega church badge so that pastor can get his prestige and move his family up stronger because like you said hey jump the prestige by the church keep gifting Tommy K, all them gifts, she should have that badge, and that would move the church up more. It would definitely move the church up more. And that's how you do that's how you do strategy and claim. So right now, all them motherfucking gifts and, and all that work that the church is putting in is going toward powerhouse. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So drop your badge, bitch, and go ahead and join the mega church. Or continue to continue to play and pass the face like you've been doing, because that's exactly what the fuck she doing. This bitch, we all know, set up for dinner six months straight and talked about pastor every day, all motherfucking day. And now all of a sudden, you think you, you you're saying he your brother? And I'ma say this, and I want y'all to take it back to pastor. I'ma say this, and I mean this. Pastor need to watch her. That motherfucker sat up there and told Dante, oh, my uncle this, my uncle that. And she said she's street code and SOS girl with the GDs and this is then the third. If that is to be true, I will watch her like a motherfucking hawk. Because who's to say if she get past her down here, she don't set, they got set them up for Dante. Because if even if by her living here, by her being, as she says, you got to be street code. And think about this shit on a political standpoint. Bitch, you talk to politics to a motherfucking gangster, which means you still sitting your ass up here saying that you associate and you are loyal to the game. If you loyal to the game and Dante asks you to have passed in a certain place, bitch, you going to do it. You going to do it or know that you risking your life and your kid's life as well. Now, we going to talk the real politics of a fucking GD. So, if I was pastor... I definitely would just feel, I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't trust this bitch. I ain't trusting no bitch that I done got into an all out damn near war with who all of a sudden said, oh, we forgive each other. And this is that and the third. Then all of a sudden this bitch over there sitting like she extremely cool with Dante. So my uncle this and this is that and you know who my people is. I ain't finna sit up here and trust every move I have if I come to Chicago with a bitch that sat up here and did a kumbaya GD Greek meet and greet meeting on a motherfucking app that I that I just got into it with. Mm. Because for any reason that if that if Dante for any reason with his unsane way of thinking feel like Tommy K set him up for pastor. That's her motherfucking life and her kids like I don't understand this game she playing or what have you. The bitch not giving me SOS girl at all. But I don't understand this damn this game she playing like she's so goddamn deep in on, on on the street wise with the politics and everything like that. But bitch, 
ain't no way in the fuck I will move like that. And now I have a family. Now I have a, 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 a man and I have my children. I'm not going to put myself into that mix and into that mess. But if you are linked in and Dante and Dante requests that call for you, mm. you going to put it in, bitch, and you're not going to risk your family life for pastor. I promise you, you won't. Mm. That's why she should mind her own motherfucking business and let them two men handle whatever it is that they handle it. Because truth be told, I honestly feel like pastor was only, you know what I mean, keying with the nigga. Like pastor went on that real serious shit. He was doing his jokes or whatever, trolling the fuck out that nigga. But you got to think about Dante's mindset. This nigga over here, come on, come on, come on for the streets and shit. Like, again, I don't know. I just moved different. Yeah, I if that was me, I'd be saying, okay, since my my family is gifting you, okay, I'm gonna need you to pick up our badge so we can move up on the famous proceed. She should have been picked up they fucking badge. The church been supporting her to the fucking fullest. For a minute she had a few of uh Trina B's people over there, but they ain't they wasn't as strong. She had a couple of clapbacks leave from over with Trina B and come gift her. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But they were not nowhere near as strong as the church has been for her. She should have been dropped powerhouse badge and picked up the church badge. So all the gifts that the church is giving her now is going to the powerhouse. That that shit getting credited. They that's 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 uh twenty getting that shit. So so while she's sitting over there talking about uh, Patty Banks over there telling Trina B to um take these black people uh money, all these black sisters. Money. Well, bitch, you got all these blacks brothers and sisters giving you gifts and you giving it to a fucking honky. Now let me drop down. I never even thought about that. K is in powerhouse agency, and she in the powerhouse family. So. All the money that the mega church that's that's given to Tommy K is going to twenty, and twenty is getting all that money. So Tommy K just made uh her one million quota, right? She just she just made her one million quota because of the church, right? Wasn't enough for no God Zeus or anything. Him big enough. He didn't send her no dragons or anything. Help her meet her Millie uh, tear. That's why God Zeus was over there, Lady B. That's why God Zeus was over there, Lady B. Because, like, uh, uh, what you call him, Petty Banks just said, all that money that's coming from the mega church is not going back to the mega church and Keith. Because he's supposed to have his agency. It is going to powerhouse. It's going to 20. Now, Carrie is under um, the church, the mega church. He's under their agency. But Carrie's not pulling in that money that Tommy K is pulling in. So all y'all being all high and mighty, oh, Tommy K this and Tommy K this. I knew that motherfucker was slicking under some and grinning in y'all face for some fucking reason. She's planning y'all face the whole fucking time. Make a church. She planning y'all face and all that goddamn money is going to powerhouse. Yeah, she sacrificed Carrie and put Carrie in the church, but Carrie ain't hit no motherfucking quotas. No, he, he said this bitch just hit a milli. That shit should have went back to the motherfucking church so the church can build up their prestige. Drop your badge, bitch. Do right by the church, bitch. Let them make them know it's real, ho. Mm-hmm. Huh? Tom K, pick up the mega church badge so they can get their prestige points. So they family, the mega church, can move up on the roster like they're supposed to. All that money they done gave you. How long has, has the church been gifting uh, Tommy K? Anybody know? How long has the church been given, gifting, hold the fuck up, Tommy K? Girl, we done woke up something over here. Two months, two months, and I wonder how much money have they been they have put into her. Mm-hmm. 
Thousands of dollars, which could have went back to the church. That show you somebody ain't doing business correctly. Somebody ain't doing business correctly, and them motherfuckers didn't catch on. All the oh Tommy K, she's a nice person. Tommy K this and Tommy K that. Bitch, Tommy K done got the fuck all over y'all and helped the powerhouse move the fuck up like they supposed to. Hold the fuck on. Bitch. Now wake that up. Wake that motherfucking tea up. Hmm. Hold up for a second. I got to go see something real quick, bitch. Me and my good Judy knows the ass. Somebody go in there. I don't give you get on a fucking troll uh, page. Ask Tommy K. Why hasn't she picked up the Mega Church badge? Bitch, go ask that half of that. I don't care if you get kicked or not. Go ask her how come she hasn't picked up the Mega Church badge. And another motherfucking thing. The first thing she said was, well, you know, 20's been good to me. You know, I'm going to be good. Bitch, you already in his agency. So you doubling down for powerhouse. So not only is 20 getting it off the agency, bitch, is getting it off the family too. You ain't just in the family. You in his agency too. Yep, that's so, what she said. She in both. She, in, she got the family badge for a powerhouse. And she got, she's in his, she's a host. Take all your black brothers and sisters money back to the church. At least join the family so they can get, get their prestige up. Because you are already building up powerhouse with hitting your quota every month. Mm -hmm. And the church people, Keith and them don't have no clue what the fuck she doing. Girl. Because she just said she was not going to make her own family. That she liked that, um, nah, keep on here, uh, ain't no way in the world he would know. We talking about her being on the, getting, putting the church up on the, um, the board. Miss T, he spoke about it. He knows the man was at old agency owner twice. He knows that she's in powerhouse family and agency. You not understand what I'm saying. We're not talking about that part. Oh, okay. So what part were you talking about? We talking about if she pick they're already gifting her, right? So right. by her them gifting her uh Petty Banks, come back up here and explain that. Oh, everybody knows, of course Pastor knows. I mean, for him not to know we will be have to be implying that he's an idiot. Of course Pastor knows. Um right. The thing, the thing is, I guarantee you, Pastor just sitting back and waiting to see how long this bitch going to do what she do. He going to see how long. He ain't going to ask her to join the church. He want to see what she organically and truthfully and loyally as a friend since the church has been supporting her. Is she going to do it on her fucking own? He giving her the opportunity to do it. Okay, he yeah, but I, yeah, okay, I understand what you're saying, but it, he knows. <laughs> yeah, he definitely, yeah, of course. Everybody knows. Right, exactly. I'm okay, that's all I want to say. Like, he not stupid. <laughs> no, he not stupid at all. About... He definitely, I feel like he definitely sent back waiting to see if when this bitch going to show the love back. Because as a black man, I know damn well, I'm going to give a fuck even as a business owner. He And you y'all know that man is about his coin and he about his money. You know what I'm saying? You know damn well he over there thinking about it like this these my people. And then he go twenty over here cashing out on my people every fucking month. He wait Right, but we don't know, but we don't know what him and Tommy discussed in private. It ain't shit to discuss about uh, uh, our uh, black uh, people she might be dumping him in on, on the back house. end. So cause I remember when she first when he first talked to her. 
Mm-hmm. She came live and was like, this was a business opportunity for her. And she, it was a job. And she was like, I'm taking that job position. Did you hear what you just said? Did Even if she did uh, gave him something on the me. back listen end. Can y'all hear me? Did you, uh, yes. uh, did you just hear what you just said? What did I say? You said it was a business deal for her. Didn't say it for us. No, for her and him. It was a job opportunity. When she first put that spade in her name, she was in Keep Live. She, and he, the, the she put that spade that in her name that, that day because he, he, the, he made a proposition to her. Listen, listen. listen. The no, he didn't. Put in she put the spade in her name in solidarity regarding that that rape rape accusation. Right, that was what the spade was for. No, she, because yes, it was. she said it. It was a business. No, it was a, everybody, a it was, everybody was around. Even I was around then. Not that that spade, very no. same day, she said everybody put the spade in your name in solidarity for pastor regarding it, saying that you know pastor is not guilty regarding these accusations. That's why everybody put the spade in their name. No, that's not Everybody. why. No, no, no. That's not why she put the spade in her name. So that's not true, Patty. It's very true. I was there. That's why I, Ebony and Brandon was like, "Well, he promised her eight hundred k. Why she ain't hit that?" That came. K that yet? came later. That came later. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't know what's going on on the back end. No, it's not getting stuff towards the family because she's not in the family. But we don't know what takes place behind closed doors. But that but that's what we're talking about though. We're talking about the family and the family prestige at this point. You ain't talking about nothing else. Right. I'm in the family, so I know I you know, I understand that. But what I'm saying is maybe he's happy with what they agreed upon. We don't know. What I'm saying is if all this money that the church has put into Tommy K and for them, they missed out on their points on this uh, this uh, combat ranking. They're missing their combat ranking points. Ain't about no back end or all that stuff. What's going on? This board here, the family, the mega church is not up there. Keys to the streets is up there. Empress and family up there. The mega church is not on that damn list at all. But it's gonna grow. Trust me, the the church, the mega church. Trust me, it has some hitters in there, and they definitely about to come back strong. But with the quotas that she's hitting, it will come back even stronger, even faster. Is what I'm saying. And like I said, I guarantee she nine times out of ten. Yeah, she should come out of her mouth, drop twenty in them bags. Pick up the mega church because they're the one who who is supporting her, not no goddamn twenty. Do you see twenty old? And, and then and then even if even if they had an agreement and they good on their agreement and this is that and that, just out of love and loyalty, bitch, you should have did it because it's people in the church who are trying to network, who are trying to build their their their, their uh uh their coin up, their investments up, and bitch, the prestige oh. would just help. So that's just that on that, regardless of whatever fucking agreement or understanding you had, bitch, just out of just out of love, loyalty, and respect, bitch, drop the badge and pick up the church so you can help out other church members as well. Period. Uh, it ain't story that hard. So, Storyline. The mega church, I seen when they got the they changed to make the badge was on the, the family list. So they were on it, but by them not hitting their combat points now, they have dropped completely off there. They got to start working on getting their combat points up so they can get back on the family list. Don't, and right now, by them not hitting their combat points, don't nobody know that the uh, mega church even exists. If there was an issue with the mega church uh, being a family or whatever, they wouldn't have given it to them, uh, Storyline. They wouldn't have given him that badge. So whatever he did, he wound up getting the badge. Yeah. The badge, if it didn't, there's no way they're going to give you a badge and it don't count. If, if you guys go on your um account, right, and then when you see your picture, tap on that. Tap, where, where it says, when you see your picture, right, and you see your Beagle ID, when it says family, tap on family. When you tap on family, the mega church is not on the list. Let me see something. It says families for you. Let's see on that. But for the com- combat points, the mega church is not getting their combat points. Let 
Do you understand what I'm saying? And just like like Patty said, just like loyalty. And it definitely if she it, claims she loves it, like you I so said, much, pick up the match. It definitely does matter, and it definitely does count. I don't, I don't give a fuck. <coughs> mother, are they reporting you, Patty? Look at them. Pick you off your motherfucker. Are they reporting you? You break You up. came here. Patty, can you hear me? I'm going to drop you and come back. Where? She can't hear me. She can come back. If y'all go to Famine's Prestige, right? Go look there. And you got your challenge, your points. Okay? All that money they have invested into Tommy K will be helping out on the fan prestige board. That's what we're talking about. Being in, in uh, the powerhouse, having the powerhouse badge, and being a host over there, that ain't what we're talking about. It, that family definitely is a real family, and it definitely does count. And at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck if it did or it didn't. Motherfucker, that bitch was down in the motherfucking ditch, sitting up over under Trina B., uh, the bitch would go live and wouldn't even get 50 motherfucking people in her room to get her to two fucking, two fucking highlighted stars on the back. End. The church came through and picked you up. You ain't even come to be go to be a motherfucking, uh, host or big time broadcast. You came to network bitch and it didn't fucking work out. Now pastor and the church has gotten you organically where you couldn't even get networking and trained with, 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 with your own money, bitch. So just out of motherfucking loyalty, bitch, wear the badge. That's all I'm saying. I would. I wouldn't give a damn what kind of understanding we had, what agreement we had or whatever, just to show my love and my fucking loyalty. And ain't no way in the fuck 20 would give a fuck about you dropping that fucking badge because you're in his agency. So he's still getting his coin. So why not give back to the family that is feeding you, bitch? So basically, you're going to walk up in the motherfucking church Take the collection plate, get the communion, and walk the fuck out the door, huh? So yeah. does Keith get along with twenty? Uh, I don't know. It don't. It don't. What does it matter? Because it matters because the money that Tommy K is getting as a host is dividing between twenty and his his his. Unless, unless twenty hitting our pastor, then then I then I shut the fuck up. Let me digress. Yeah, but what we're saying is, I'm looking at this family prestige right now, Petty Banks, right? So I went and looked on another page, right? The top three families up there for the uh, family prestige, number one is Island uh, Vibes, number two is, uh, top two is Demon, and guess what number three family is? Guess what the number three family up there? Power. Power. Powerhouse. They got and the church eighty, and the church contributed to them getting there. Right. So if it ain't a deal on the motherfucking table, twenty need to come over and just brush past on his motherfucking hand with a nice little cash app because the church did contribute. Yeah, they helped them get there. They got two hundred eighty k. This is what we we talking about the board. This is what I'm talking. About. I'm not talking about. I uh, 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 give a fuck what Keith know about her having the badge or in the, in the family and all that stuff. I'm talking about if Tommy K pick up that family badge, then the church people will be up there on that family prestige board. They will get their combat points and all that stuff. And there are there are a lot of people in the church that that, that you know what I'm saying, they ain't on this messy shit. They just hit a network. You know, they go out, they do their thing. It'll help them too. So bitch, so get them back. The mega church, the on the family prestige board, the mega church is number nine right now. If Tommy K had that badge, they'd be up there with Powerhouse instead of Powerhouse being up there. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying to y'all? And I hope nobody ain't leaving, not listening to what I'm saying. We talking, like you said, Tommy K talking about business. I'm talking business. So Tommy K is getting her money, but she washing the Powerhouse hands. She washing 20 hands. She making him look good. 
instead of making Keith look good. Do y'all understand what I'm telling y'all? They understand that shit, but as of right now, it's a it's a can't do no wrong type situation. But you know, everybody roll different. And I just move differently. If a motherfucker didn't help me up out the fucking ditch and put me in the car and push me down the road and gas my shit up for me, mm. I'm just going to show my gratitude. I don't give a damn. 20 would just have to fucking understand because these are the people who get who got me somewhere that I couldn't get on my own. And that's just that. Me, because really, Tommy K took up for him for and, and the young lady, like he, for him not doing anything to the young lady that point, he might not be thinking about it for this family prestige board. You understand? And then Tommy K trying to be like extra. Well, let me put a badge, put the uh, spade in my name, which Keith told her uh, months ago to take the spade out of her name. I guess ain't nobody heard that either. But I'm looking at this family prestige board. It says the top 200 families will earn their prestige ranking reward. While the top 201 to 600 families will receive a 2,000 being reward. You hear me? 2,000 being reward. Combat points obtained from families' events will also be counted. This will do what I'm talking about. This board. The Family Prestige Board. They can get 2,000 beings. They can get more than that. Right, two thousand beans ain't number two shields. It's just more than that. It's just still, you know, the principles. building up the family prestige, the points, and everything else, and then the principles of this shit. Just as that's just that on that. I don't give a fuck. Like again, it's just that's just it's just me. And, and we and the old girl was right. We don't know what the fuck they talked about behind closed doors. But it's just you know, just just good gestures and loyalties and shit. That's all. Mm hmm. And I don't know what these combat points do, but whatever they do, they move their family up on the prestige board. It moves their family up. Now, let's see. Also, let's say, for instance, if KOB um, got banned, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, builds, it builds them up to where they could be able to get him on band, like building up, v I, can, I think it builds up VIP points or some shit like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so but anyway, I'm looking at this still, it helps in many, it, it helps in different ways. Right, I'm looking. I'm looking at the mega church. Right, the top person is lieutenant, and then you have Miss Janice is the next one. You have Lily, Mezzi, uh, Fat Q2. You have Golden because it shows their their uh, points. Treasure, Duchess, uh, Miss Keita, and uh, Butterfly Love. Okay, they got thirty five people that's on on the page. Butterfly Love. Okay, number. 11 is I Am Her. Number 12 is Bougie Damar. 13 is YNC. 14, Miss April. 15, Miss Mina. Uh, 16 is Keith. Okay. 17, Miss Nay. Uh, 18 is Taylor. You, you gonna read the whole list? Huh? You, you gonna read all 35 names? Girl, if this was me, if I had family, <laughs> Best believe we be out here, y'all would know we be on the boot. I be running my shit like a goddamn uh soldier. You know, everybody will be uh, we will all be one sound, one band. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you, Miss T. But no, uh I don't know, man. But like I said, I still I still I'm waiting on well, I ain't waiting on it, but I know the day is coming. That that bitch extreme true colors. Gonna, gonna, gonna hit the fan. We ain't seen shit yet. This old nasty ass conniving ass bitch. And that's just that on that. Like this bitch gonna see her ass up here and try to tell all us that we need to get her, get us a man like Carrie. Then come to find out who was that to interview Carrie's wife. Come to find out the whole time that was that bitch motherfucking property. And then she left that shit to Carrie so Carrie wouldn't be motherfucking homeless. So bitch you mean to tell me a bitch left you a foundation and you couldn't even build that up. You tore that shit down with foreclosures and everything else. And bitch, we supposed to get like you or be like you. A bitch like that couldn't give me no advice on shit. Well, she said she had a house before. You said she did what with the house? Them, they in foreclosure. But they uh, somebody just came in my live the other day 
and said the church helped her. They helped them get out out of foreclosure. Help Carrie get out of foreclosure. They not. Pro they probably did. I'm pretty sure it wasn't even that much. I mean, the property taxes on that shit is seven dollars a year. Mm -hmm. It probably wasn't that much. Yeah, because they probably they, they probably did. Back. But at the mm -hmm. end of the day, that bitch living in a motherfucking house that another bitch bought. Yeah. But you can't tell me shit. I want You couldn't tell me a fuck ass thing. Did anybody record Tommy K from this morning when Keith got up in the panel with new new baby? I want to see what she said afterwards. Demonic K act like she got up morals. Oh, what the world? Is this still live? Okay. But now, let me get down, because this is the most time I spoke on this bitch in a long-ass motherfucking time. But she was over there speaking on me this morning. I don't know why that motherfucking upright refrigerator with feet built bitch loves speaking on me. And and it's consistently somebody always telling me, oh, Tim K over there talking about you for what and why. For what and why, ho? Because you get mad because you see me saying a couple of comments about you, bitch. Bitch, I don't like you. You don't like me. But goddamn, bitch, really? You gonna make me your fucking content, and I'm not even I'm not even a host on this motherfucker. Well, am I a host? I just don't be hosting. But bitch, like stop it, cut it the fuck out, Tommy K. We the same motherfucking age, bitch, and you look like you could be my fucking auntie, and that's your problem with me, bitch. I wanna see fourteen hours. Do y'all know if anybody recorded Tommy K live from this morning? Do y'all know if if that's what I want to find? Her live from this morning. Because she said some shit out of her mouth five hours ago. Is this what she got on now? Because I got to hurt and get out of here. Okay, this is it.